When this father crept upon his cow's pen to see what mysterious creature was visiting it, he could hardly believe what he was seeing. Abraham Amel is a born and raised farmer. His father was a farmer before him, and he learned everything he needed to know from him, including how dangerous predators can be to your livestock. They are not animals you should take kindly to when found on your farm. So you can imagine his sheer surprise when he came across a leopard in his cow's pen. Abraham's farm was one that he was extremely proud of. Sure, it wasn't a life of luxury, but it was his own. He knew that the farm would be his life's occupation just as it was his father's, so he tried to make it as great as he could. His passion was raising cattle. He was somewhat of a cattle whisperer. Abraham knew what his cows needed before they did essentially, and tried at all times to ensure they were well cared for and protected. Not only was he good at working with the cows, but he was also fantastic at keeping everything up to a great standard. He knew that at the very least, he needed to help the farm up to the standards to which his father had maintained. Abraham knew some traditions needed to be followed. He also knew that sometimes things change or don't necessarily go as planned. That is what he experienced one fateful day when he came across something his father would never have dreamed of. Abraham had a gift for dealing with cattle. He believed that all his cattle needed to be looked after well. It was the easiest comparison to be made between himself and his father. His father's farm was famous for the brilliant standard of cattle they produced. They were extremely valuable cattle that helped to keep the farm afloat. Though there was one difference in his farming style to his father's, it was his personal opinion on weak cattle. One of Abraham's cows gave birth to a calf that was immediately rejected by the mother. The calf was not even half the size it should have been. Born premature and weak, Abraham was immediately concerned. Perhaps with the help of its mother, it would have been okay. But after the mother's rejection, Abraham's hope was dissipating. His father would have let nature take its course on the calf and not have assisted in any way. But Abraham couldn't bring himself to do the same. He quickly hatched a plan for the weak calf. He would hand raise her and protect her from all harm as he felt he should. Only he wasn't the only one who felt that way. He fell in love with this calf. She was his most prized possession. Besides his daily farm work that needed attending to, he tried to spend as much time with her as possible. He named her Abiba, which means beloved in Arabic. To ensure her safety due to her weak nature and demur size, he separated her from the rest of the cows. He set up a very comfortable pen just for her so that he could sleep soundly at night knowing she was safe, out of harm's way as much as possible. When the time came for her to be sold at the market just as every other cow was, he couldn't bring himself to be separated from her. He wanted to ensure that she stayed healthy and safe for as long as possible. Only he had no clue that she would attract a strange visitor to her pen. Every morning, right as the sun was breaking day, Abraham would make his rounds on the farm. His first task was always checking the outer perimeters of his farm. It was vital that his fencing stood strong and stable at all times. His second action of the day was his favorite. He got to greet all the animals as they awoke and feed them. This usually welcomed him with excitement for their breakfast, in addition to being led out into their paddocks to roam. Abraham always visited Abiba last, as he wanted to ensure that he had any extra time to spend with her before starting his day. One particular day, though, he was caught completely off guard. When he came to Abiba's pen, it was an absolute mess. Everything was completely chaotic, except for Abiba herself, who was still fast asleep in the corner of of her pen. The gate to her pen was hanging wide open as if someone had ripped it open. This caused some of the fencing of the pen to fall down too. Among entering the pen, Abraham was even more shocked. The hay bales had been thrown around and had fallen apart, whilst there seemed to be some intense, deep scratching on the wooden post that held the ceiling. From all the clues left behind, Abraham suspected the culprit to be a predator for sure. This shook him to his core. How on earth had a predator been in Abiba's pen and torn it up like it had, leaving the cow completely unscathed? It made no sense at all. 
Thinking about it just made him more anxious, so in turn, he decided to do all that he could to ensure that her pen was fixed up and even more secure than it was before. Reassuring himself of the health of Abiba, he left hoping that his reinforcements on her pen would hold, only to be proven wrong the next morning. The next morning, he found the pen just as it was before. He was beyond concerned and slightly frustrated. What on earth could be doing this but leaving his beloved cow alone? It truly made no sense at all, so Abraham did the only thing he could think of. He planted a camera. In a safe position, Abraham placed a little camera to try and record all that was happening in the pen at night. When he woke the next morning to collect the camera, sure enough, the pen was upside down again. He ran back to the farmhouse as fast as he could and plugged the camera into his computer. It was then that he saw, for the very first time, a mysterious creature slinking into the cow's pen. It pulled the gate open and slammed it on the floor, jumped around in the hay and then stretched up against the post. It then walked slowly up to the cow. It was at this point that Abraham's heart started racing madly. Only what he saw just puzzled him more. The creature appeared to slink right up to the cow and simply slouch down onto the ground in front of it. Because of a lack of light, Abraham was unable to truly see what animal it was, which left him no choice. What Abraham did next would have made anybody think that he was completely mad. The farmer decided to stake out the cow's pen the next night and physically catch whatever was causing all the damage to Abiba's pen. He crouched just out of sight and tried to remain calm. And just like clockwork, at 11 p.m., the creature arrived. Abraham could hardly believe his eyes. Right before him, slinking into his beloved cow's pen, was none other than a leopard. A predator in a cow's pen. How had Abiba survived all this time? Bracing himself to jump on the large cat, Abraham got himself ready. Only he was fired to pause when he saw what the cat was doing. It seemed that the cat was snuggling with Abiba. The big cat was curled up against the cow's body in a protective way, almost as though the cat could sense the cow's vulnerability and so came every night to protect her from whatever dangers lay in the night. Abraham stood for a bit at the entrance of the pen and watched the pair. The leopard simply looked at him and lay his head down slowly, as if knowing the farmer posed no threat to the cow. So Abraham was posed with a difficult question. What was he supposed to do now? His father had drilled into him at all times that predators were not to be trusted. But what if they could be? So he made the bold decision to leave the unlikely pair alone and just watched in amazement. Whilst his father's way of farming had been invaluable, it was in Abraham's opinion that sometimes it's okay to try new things or set new traditions when you think they are worthwhile. Abraham knew his farm was far from ordinary, but he didn't wish for it to be any other way. After the second visit, the leopard never came back. What a beautiful story, a true example of nature being its kind self. Let us know what you thought of the story in the comments below. Until next time.